It's a very nice day out today, gotta say. The the transmitter's running. <laughs> um, I had to use the uh, cord from this UPS to power another one. And I actually don't really use this UPS that much except for when I, uh, when I um, power this thing in the woods using a 12 volt battery. This is from a broken um, lamp, and that's the back panel for that, which I probably shouldn't on top of it because I was using it a few days ago. Anyway, oh, and this is a Logitech speaker, which is a Logitech. Uh, probably made of a Tang Bang. Uh, anyway, none of that stuff is the subject of today's video. Neither is this TV. Um, this is this is a plug-and-play solar kit that I would say is one of the crappiest ever. Um, other than the fact that it heats itself up, it has to get up all the way up to 50 degrees Celsius to start the fan in the back, and the fan only has one speed. <laughs> we got USB 5 volts output, uh, which all the text is very cruddy looking. Um, on the back, it's no better looking. We got a Jamie Con fan, which is decent. Uh, AC charge fuses. AC input that has no protection if you plug it into the output, it'll just fault. And then this thing constantly runs out of battery, which um, which has, 20, has uh, four 100 amp hour, 24 volt, no, 12 volt batteries wired in series to get 24 volts. And there's two inputs right here. Um, the uh, the inputs here almost look like the inputs on a microphone, um, and we got the DC output switch. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Whoa! Oops! Wow! Um, okay, if that happens, you know it's junk. <laughs> wow! Um, nope, wrong one. And this one here is probably from over there. Now, if I plug this in, watch this out, watch this. Just wiggling it around. Look how much that thing wiggles. Woo! Woo! That thing's just crazy. Now, um, let me show you another problem. If you look at the front for long enough, you'll probably figure this out. Give you a hint. Um, yeah. So, as we all know, LCD displays can be very fragile, especially the cheap ones. So, a bike fell against this, I believe, or maybe maybe this tape, this tape here, fell down, it'll sit on top of it, like that. But, uh, anyway, you can't see anything on that display anymore. Funny thing is, the outside doesn't even feel cracked. Anyway. It says VA, but that's not even supposed to be lit up. Oh, another thing is these cheap LEDs don't even have a diffuser on them. DC power switch. Look at that light, just dims out. You know, you know it reminds me of those cheap Logitech computers. No, actually they weren't even Logitech, they were like no brand. Um, we have a max, I guess that means solar panel, because that's where the PV inputs, whatever. Power voltage, I'm not sure what that means. That's 960 watts. Um, and the max AC output is 200 watts. So apparently you have got less input and more output, which could cause some problems. Um, the battery case is pretty plain looking. Uh, we got hex screws that tie these together and they're not even the right size. You can see the sort of bent. Um, on the side here, uh, not much. Um, on the back, you got breakers, which is a good thing, t um, and not much. Um, I would like to show you the inside of this, but 
the guy who sold it to us that he's going to come back and fix it. So, if that happens, I don't want to be caught tampering inside of it. <laughs> the other thing is kind of interesting, this, this label here, which is sort of tilted. It shows different positions of charges, but it actually doesn't do anything to the battery itself. I checked that position, the battery percentage stays the same, but of course I can't even see that now because the display's cracked. <sighs> um, so, it does work though. In fact, I'm gonna go, I'll go get my multimeter. Here's my multimeter, and as we probably know, everybody's a bit more rough with their multimeter than something that just sits in their garage. Um, and the display's still fine. Why is that? It has a thick, protective piece of plastic over it. What a surprise. Anyway, um, I have not checked continuity of this thing yet. Um, oh, and just another thing, that thing right there is just plastic. I probably pulled off. I pulled hard enough. Anyway, let's see. Like I said, this thing does work. And its outputs are actually pretty good. Here we go. And so power on. Take gives it a take a couple seconds, it's like boot or something. And then we got very close to mains output. Except it fluctuates a bit as for some reason. As the thing gets hotter, it seems to decrease. If we check the uh, frequency, it is pretty close. Uh, line's a bit better. Resistance, which shouldn't really matter. Um yeah, well, it, it it works, I guess. Um, so, whatever. Oh, come on out of there! Out, out, out. The other thing is those outlets are very tight. Um, cheap switches, cheap, cheap, cheap. I wish you could feel the how that thing feels. It's only like beeping inside there. So you can see, if you can see in there, all those LEDs in there, and there's those two relays, they stay on no matter what position the AC switch is in, which is kind of weird. Um, anyway, let's go up to the roof. Check out the lighting up here. Anyway, um, these are the solar panels. Um, they all have these barcodes on them, which is kind of strange. Uh, I believe they're all different numbers. These are Bosch solar panels, and I think that they are, because you can sort of see the logo there. Uh, so, let's uh, see if we can get these, and see if we can take these things apart. Oh, I could do that one with one hand. I need to put the camera down. Probably not a good idea to put it on a slanted roof, but... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now that we got those apart, we got here's the leads running to the solar panels, and we have little stickers around them saying plus and minus. So we know how to connect our multimeter. Wonderful. At least something is easy. Uh, so there's the multimeter. It's like that DC because solar panels are obviously DC. Um, and I will try <laughs> to plug this into the solar panel. And uh, another thing I forgot to mention is the guy that sold us this doesn't know anything about electronics. Okay. There we go. Voltage, which is climbing for some reason. Uh, and dropping, depending on where the sun is. So at least we know that it's connected to the solar panel, not something else. Um, you can see the sun's coming back out again and the voltage is climbing. Uh, very pretty. It's amazing what God made. Okay, anyway. Back to these. Um, now, one thing that makes me speculate is that they're, they're, they feel kind of cheap, these panels. Um, as you can see, you know, the sun's gone away, the voltage has dropped, about a volt. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty neat. Uh, these connections on them are kind of interesting. Um, haven't seen those before, and they have that really tiny seal, which makes, them, I mean, it makes me wonder if they're water resistant. And just went down to 18 for a second, and went, up, went back up to 19, but um, so the voltage really fluctuates on these. Uh, I wish I could show you the logo on the back, which almost looks like it shipped from China. And as you can see, the volts back up. The voltage is back up a volt, um, which makes sense. I mean, 
uh, solar panels usually, because there's no regulators on, on these particularly, their uh, the voltage is, is bound to fluctuate because um, of the sun, which is right up there. <laughs> no kidding. Um, and as you can see now, it's up at 21 volts, which of course makes sense. Uh, I'm not sure if, I, if you can see under these. You probably can't, but I'll try anyway. Um, now, I, if I can't see under here, you guys are not going to be able to. Uh, ow. Boy, this roof's hot. Okay, so I don't think that you guys can see under there, really. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I really doubt you guys can see that. That's, but as you can see, uh, one thing probably you can definitely see is that there's um, a lot of uh, light going through these. Um, I mean, even those cheap solar panels I got off those, got off of that light over there. That, uh, if it'll zoom in, right there on top of that dirt mound that uh, Dad ran over with his truck. Um, I got out of that, you can't see light through that thing, which amazingly still works. What if these panels will go um, if, if if they got ran over by a truck, if they'd still work? <laughs> um, a heavy old Ford F-250. And, uh, look at that, there's someone stopping in the neighbor's driveway. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, let me, uh, try this again. Uh, um, can you see that? That tag there? Right there. Just says solar panel on it. Yeah, that's convincing of high quality. Let me see if I can get you a better view of it. Yep, just says solar panel. You can read the technical specifications. Wow, I, you can actually see it under there. This camera's better than I thought. <laughs> um, so yeah, and voltage is still hovering around that. Anyway, let's take these out and put it, plug it back in, even though we don't really even use the thing. It just sits there in the garage collecting dust, and is a wonderful place for me to put my subwoofer. Um, so I'll put these back together, which they are toolless, which is nice, but toolless and they're kind of not crappily they're kind of crappily made feel crappy when you put them together you know and they feel like they're making a loose connection pretty sure you know that feeling uh so that's about that i'm curious to think what i'll get what you think about about, about those uh we were promised that we could run our uh my radio station, which I'm pretty sure you've seen in a separate video, that's doing well too. Um, <laughs> my radio station and other stuff off of that generator continuously, even when it's cloudy. And there's the antenna. I'm not sure if I if I told you that almost looks like an advertisement for my, <laughs> those antennas, the FM user. Um, but uh, yeah, we got our, the new transmitter up, which I am uh, pretty sure you can probably tell because I told I told you I was gonna do that a month ago. <laughs> Uh, and that was, uh, totally gonna do that in a month, about five months ago, so. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. That's doing great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my rant. That's about that. Well, I'm at it. One more thing that I wanted to do, um, their website, oh, it's called A Better Way Solar. So, I thought maybe we'd go to it and see if there still exists. Uh, just heard up about a year ago. And anyway, at any rate, here's that really cheap solar panel that I told you about. Point that directly at the sun. You can't see any light through there. So, very interesting. Um, that is a cheap solar panel that's been run over by a truck. Came off one of those cheap solar lamps that, yeah. Um, they work well. <laughs> so, into the shop. Into the lab where shock hazards are had. Okay, anyway. Do 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 do. The website is uh, Better Way Solar. So. I'm changing for solar for cheap. Hmm. We've moved, and that is not their logo, but it's very similar to what it was. So apparently, they do not. It says we've moved to a new website to a new server. 
Yeah, well, who's this uh, guy? Powered by a website builder. Hmm. Interesting. Um, wait, 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 what's that say down there? Copyright smart solar roofs. Well, that's strange, because it's changed, and we got 26 Facebook likes. Wow, that's amazing. Um, anyway. Let's go to this new website. Hmm. Very nice. Same panels, though. Yeah, they're definitely the same panels. So, at least we know they're the same people. And they used to, he used to use that, 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 that picture there, so. We know they're the same people that own this. Local family owned. Wow. Why go solar? You can't even look at their products anymore. Holy cow. <laughs> Home builders. Let's see what that comes up. Yep. Nothing much. Residential. Nope. Ah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at least on your old site, on my old site, you could see what they, uh, what the stuff was. Now it's just, uh, a bloaty website that sort of has bad graphics. <laughs> Look at that logo. Anyway, they used to be called a Better Way Solar, but now they apparently have changed to Smart Roofs, and what makes them so smart? Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching.